Right, so let's do this. It's a review of the Bosch Hydrosensor WFP3300. Possibly one of the best built machines ever. And I mean ever. Well, certainly ever in terms of what uh, I've come across. Okay, cosmetically, there's a few issues. So if we look down here, I've got a little bit of patch of rust and there's little specks of rust all on the front panel. Uh, basically, it's where it's all pitted. At the bottom there, there are two uh, holes there which you turn and behind that is uh, the uh, drain pump and filter which you can empty. Uh, if we look towards the top here, uh, I'm going to go to the drawer first, so... Right. We open the drawer, push forward in, and then you can grab it. And then you notice this little red marker here. Well, if I put my finger to the side, we can pull this out. And this is a list of all the programs. So, um, later on when I show you, you can see what is which. Um, it even gives you so degree soil in there, if it's normal don't press any buttons, if it's light soil press the short wash, if it's very dirty press the pre-wash and if it's stained press intensive. Um, if you want an additional rinse press higher water level and run more water. Uh, other side doesn't have anything. Uh, you also notice how it's still all so yeah that's that, we'll push the drawer back in. Here we've got our list of options and we've even got a little sticker here. Um, now this may be where the machine's been bought from or it may have been repaired in the past, we don't know. But it's, uh, it's a, it'll be a local shop to where this is from. So to turn the machine on, we have to press the on off button. There is a little light there, sorry there isn't a light on the on off. It's a little uh, flick up thing. Um, so a little red indicator that flicks up when you press it. Um, we've also got the door button, but the door's already open. Um, we've also got our start button, which flashes to say when it's ready. Um, we've got pre-wash, uh, short wash, high water level, intensity stains, and a delay start. Press start in this mode. Ooh, I just uh, shut the door up. So if I press start in this mode, you can see um, you've got a pre-wash, main wash, rinse in, final rinse, rinse hold and spin lights at the top. And they go through when uh, the machine's in use. But they've also actually got something else anyway. Right, so this is our spin speed selector. But this isn't actually a dial that turns, you just simply flick it one way or the other, see? And we have choices of 600, 1200, 1000, 800, 600, 400. Uh, reduced ironing, also known in Germany as IVS, um, will do interval spin, which on the cartons will actually also limit the final spin to pro probably about 800 RPM. On easy cat, easy cat, it might just do the same spin. Uh, it still does up to 800 RPM. We've also got a rinse hold function, um, but on most Bosch's including this, it's likely that once the rinse hold's over, uh, you can't usually select then just select spin. Although you can actually on this, which, uh, which is a bonus. Yeah, right, so the programs are in this little window here. Uh, I've shown you before, um, but it is nicely all laid out. So we've got 90 with a tap, which is 90 with a cooldown, 90 without a cooldown. Uh, 60E is 60 economy. Right, so 60E is a longer wash um, than normal 60, a reduced heat, and does two rinses instead of three. If you want the eco cycle for this machine that gives you your A wash, A energy, and A spin, uh, you press the intensity and stains, although you'll still get an A spin. And an A wash regardless anyway, uh, but not the AMG. Um, and on all cotton cycles we can have a pre-wash, a short wash, 
high water level and intensive end stains, and all selectable at the same time, including rinse hold as well, or rinse, sorry, reduce ironing as well, rinse hold. Um, we've also got a start in hours, it just gives you a number, but obviously 10 would be 10 hours. Uh, start. Um, we've also, so we've got count 60, 40, 30, and then um, number one um, is cotton fast spin. But you don't necessarily need the cotton fast spin if you press start on uh, with the door close, it will instantly go on to the main wash and light up. A little feature which is pretty cool on this. Uh, so if you want to skip ahead, press start again, it will move on to rinsing. It will automatically do a drain first and then uh, start the next stage. Uh, rinsing will obviously do three rinses and then a the final spin. If we press it again, you can do one rinse and final spin. And then if you want to do spin only, you can press it again and just select spin only. And that's the other thing it has. It has an M beeper. Um, which still drones on for hours after it's finished. Another little cool thing at the end of the cycle. Once that beeps and answers zero, 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 it will tumble the laundry intermittently uh, for up to an hour. So pretty much this is barking on Mila's door. Saying that it was incredibly expensive when new. Uh, before I go on to anything else as well, the, right, the hydro sensor um, basically detects how much detergent residue is left within the laundry. If there's too much, it will add on an extra rinse or two. Um, though my Siemens IQ, which is a slightly later model than this, has a hydro sensor. And the only fault it has is with the actual hydro sensor. It doesn't stop the machine or anything, it just knows that it fails. Although that's pretty good considering that most hydro sensors depend to tend to put on way too many rinses. This doesn't. This will only put on more rinses if it is actually just too sudsy. Uh, so we've got cottons 40 and 30. Right, I'll just show you something else. We've got a short wash program. Watch how short these become. Uh, cotton 60 is about an hour 11. And then that, uh, 40 is about 59 minutes. So everything comes quite, pretty much the express wash. Uh, which these will later become. Uh, then we've got Easy Care at 60, 50, and 40, 30, as well as a Easy Care spin on position 2 over here. And again, we can have pre wash, we can have pre wash, short wash, intensive, and high water level. Short wash is approximately 51 minutes on Easy Care. Then we've got Delicates at 40, 30. 15, yep, no cold here, just 15. Uh, it's likely that you will still actually heat it to 15 as well. Even if it's over with its like six degree water, it will heat it to 15 regardless. Um, because Miele does the same at this time area. There's cold wash functions on the Miele and they would always heat to about 18 degrees because detergents don't start working until they're at that temperature. Um, and then we've got program 3 which is delicate spin again you can have a pre-wash, short wash, high water level, intensity stains and reduced ironing as well, same with the EZK you can have reduced ironing as well as rinse hold then we've got uh, ones at 40, uh, ones at 30 or cold and then program 4 is wool spin again we can have a short wash, high water level and intensity stains no pre-wash option I'm pretty sure there's no reduce ironing option. No, you are. Uh, right, program five is starching, uh, which is basically a rinse and or rinses and spin. Um, no, it's main wash and spin. So it's main wash at forty um, for the starch. Uh, program six is soaking at 40 degrees, a two and a half hour soak period, no pre-wash. 
obviously no options available apart from the fact it was like for two and a half hours which is pretty good and then finally power on seven is drain only then we've got this little sector here which is a well i think it's a council selector so if you want to nullify any program you don't need to because you can already skip it ahead um, and i'm pretty sure selector there's a combination of somewhere which allows to go into a test mode but i don't know it all right so what i like about this is that it gives you so much versatility there's no special programs like darks and stuff because we live this is from the 90s very late 90s but even so there was no special programs but you didn't need to you had so many options you could theoretically do that so you could do the dark cycle by pressing selecting easy care at 40 by pushing higher water level and a shorter wash or you could do a white cycle by pressing intense and the stains and stuff like that you could theoretically do everything so we've got this nice uh, stainless steel door and it is stainless steel not plastic and inside we've got a moldy door seal um, this is because obviously the door has been kept shut between uh, cycles, trapped the water and obviously causes that. That and the fact that when I picked it up it had clearly been used on cotton 30, most likely with the short wash option because that's where it was still left. Uh, we've also got this proper Bosch rum. Um, I love these baffles. Uh, the, no, the, the modern ones are actually pretty much the same, but bigger and longer. So we've got like a, a steep side for quite literally bashing the water about, and a, a more slopey side, so uh, clothes just slope off. Um, right, down here you can just about see we've got a stainless steel outer tub. This is the thing, this is why I go, this is how great this machine is. Uh, possibly the best washing machine there is, because using it you will never know. It's so silent, it's got a silent, um, it will have a DC cutter motor, no inverter here, but it's not silent, it's still quieter than an inverter. Pretty sure it's got an automatic half load. Um, I'm going to test that out in a minute. And I'm also pretty sure that this is the last one with a stainless steel outer tub before the WEEE -E -E regulations kicked in and Bosch then had to swap to plastic. Thanks. Also, this door release mechanism is no different to a Miele either. So, yeah proper Miele territory here. Uh, so physically looking at it, guys, yeah, it's quite dirty and there's spots of rust on the front panel, only on the front panel and only literally physically on the front panel. No corners are actually affected, so there's no reduced rigidity in the corners, which is pretty good. In comparison to my Siemens IQ and my Siemens IQ 700, um, this is actually quieter and better. Oh, and the other thing, this smells nice in a really weird way, despite the mold. Um, now, when I was a youngster growing up, I had a friend, a good friend, whose mother had a Hoover Logic 1250. I think it was 1250 or 1200 anyway, uh, Logic 1200, and it smells exactly the same. Right, so we'll load up then. So we're going to put a small amount of darks in. We're going to put some personal non bio in and our fabric softener in the middle. There. So, this is our pre wash section that's your main wash and that's your fabric softener. There's a little uh, thing here which can be used for liquid. Um, 
So that drops down like that. If you're using liquid, and you put liquid in and you can fill it up to there, but we're not, we're using powder. And it's pretty neat the fact that all you do is push it back, it never comes out. Uh, the other thing is that we've got uh, a little indicator here, label one, two, four. Now, over here it's not too bad, but over in Germany, because our water areas are so random, uh, the idea is that you select, say, one for soft, two for medium, three for hard, and four for very hard, to remind you of your water hardness content. So when you load up with detergent, you know how much to put in, maybe. Although why would you forget? Maybe unless you are uh, got multiple family members. So we're gonna set 30, short wash,
Loads of them going. Uh, half pint counts less. I'm after a hot point liberator. I've been after one for months. <laughs> I've got the dryer. I've got plenty of um, Hoover wash machines from uh, like 1970 that way up. Yeah. Uh, the old Hoover Electron. But um, trying to get a hot point one, forget it. It's just not happening. <laughs> the purple one. Uh, purple glass, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and there's somebody else is after one as well. Yeah, oh, I, yeah. I used to have loads when I was living at home. I had loads, I reckon 10 of them. <laughs> I've got the dryer, the purple glass dryer. Yeah. But I don't, I don't go as old as that. Like my general collection is about the nineties, because I was yeah. a nineties kid, so I grew up with the well we had a we had hot point I mean, 90, 99, 20 washer dryer and two hot point with the six no, sixty one and the sixty four. Yeah, yeah. And I knew someone else who had an Ultima, so I was they're like tanks, they are. I'm, I'm still selling some of them, aren't yeah. I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Got but, in but in comparison to the hydrosensor got next to it, it's still rubbish compared to it. <laughs> that that hydrosensor is probably the best machine ever, full stop. Really? It's still, because obviously you've got electronic programming, uh, the hydrosensor sensor which senses the water for clarity, but it's still got a stainless steel outer tub. That's it was, forever. And it's one of them, it's got the bet and it's 600 spin. It's got the DC cutter motor on it, so it's silent, even more silent than the uh, inverters actually. I just can't hear it. And no. when you, even with an unbalanced load, it doesn't vibrate. No, I do a load of LG, don't I? Yeah, I do a lot of LG. LG. I like LG. I've got a lot of LG in the shop. Yeah, I've got, a, shop I've got 11 kilo in the shop. I've got a 20 kg LG and a 20 kg dryer. Wow. They're about that, commercial ones. Yeah, they're about that high, but they're American, so you have to go through the, the thing like a, it's a steam washer, steam dryer. All ah, right. All in like that blood red colour. But they're really nice, aren't they? I'm keeping yeah, them. So, nice, yeah. I'm oh. definitely keeping them. <laughs> the, the 11 kilo I'm going to get rid of at some point, but I'm just keeping it in a minute because. Uh, mine's 11, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. mine's 11 at home. Yeah. About eight year old now, is it, probably? Something like that. Yeah, I've got another one as well where it's jumping all around the place. <laughs> just, I don't put no washing in, it just takes off. Is it sensing though? Uh, sensing, but it doesn't have the doesn't have the shock and the, the, no counterweight or anything. No, no, no. It's just the, the tilted drum with like the um, yeah the legs that you can tilt back like. Yeah, obviously you need to load it in to make it work. Yeah, well, don't you put load in it? It's even worse. You put, okay. Run it empty and it just takes off. As a when you take it apart, you've got like a there's a tank on the front with like more bearings in. Yeah. And one at the back. But I can't see anything on this. So I just shoved it. Mine's not too bad, but it is like, when it starts going, if it's put parts it will still hit the top, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I'd say that they're not, the, the light still, aren't they? So yeah. the bounce is still moving. Well, what I've got to show is a very older one. There you go. Okay. Sorry. Uh, that one it's alright. I've got that one at home. That one bangs the way the taste like. But the one I've got at home is a pretty new one, it's all touchscreen. Yeah. It's an MKD touchscreen. Yeah. That one, um, it's uneven, it'll just stop and try and put it right, and stop and try and put it right, and in the end, if you can't bring it. That kind of. Well, I've I tra traded it for uh, a newer Bosch driver. Because at the time, I had uh, a Bosch condenser that matches that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is before I got that. Okay. Toy Toy Shell ones. Yeah, we've got, you've got that container. I've got two dogs for it. Maybe that's it. Yeah, it's on this. There is a door at the workshop. I've got this. I've also got.
someone's telling me, I was talking to another engineer, he called them mouse modes. Yeah, it's a thing, it's brilliant. Now I get Thank you so much. That's okay. I'll keep, I'll, I'll, I've saved you as a seller anyway, so I'll keep looking at what you get what you bought. Obviously, the ones that I just yeah. don't sell, like the only vintage ones that are like, classic ones, vintage ones, that I get rid of going on eBay. Yeah, they yeah. all start in the night, they don't matter what. It's like I don't care. It's like that, I'll be the loss of, and the driver will be the loss of. But
Mm, God, that's gorgeous. Mm. Oh, perfect. And, more importantly, the 600 spin. Number one, that's a t-shirt and it's not that creased. And number two, these spin faster and drier than even modern 600 spins. And this is 1999 we're talking about. So, what do I give the machine out of 10? When does it get to the point when this is actually the perfect machine ever made? It gets 10 out of 10. Yep. I know the fact that people are going to be screaming at me the fact that it's only got 5 kilo. But think about it for one second. How much do you actually wash? More importantly, what difference does it make washing 5 kilo or washing 8, 7 kilo in a 9 kilo model? Bit confused? No, this, though, on the other hand, yeah, perfect. I love it.